Welcome to part two of the Dandelion Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So I forgot to show you the finial here. As you can see, there's um, etched as a dandelion, and then you could see this shimmer underneath it, uh, inlaid abalone. known um, in the Japanese lacquer art. I don't know how to pronounce this as Raden. Raden. R-A-D-E-N. So you could see the shimmering bluish circle underneath the carving of dandelion there. And then something else that I noticed only after I've uploaded part one is this shimmer on the body. Um, there it is. Um, it's not very obvious. It's most pronounced when uh, at night against electric light. So when I was using this at night in the light on my electric, on my nightstand, the light sort of hit it, it sparkled and only then I realized. So let me just try this again. It's very, very subtle. It almost looks as if there are specks of dust in this light, but um, at night under electric light, it really sparkles, but ever so subtly. So uh, very, very subtle. I've completely missed it. That's how subtle it is. It's like diamond dust more than um, sparkle diamond dust that's been scattered evenly. Okay, this is having trouble focusing. Hold on a second. Okay, the focus is really struggling here. So you get the idea. And then the finial on the bottom is like so. The finial on top is like so. Yeah, and we have a size comparison. So that's the Pro Gear Slim. This is the Pro Gear. It's not only you've probably seen this in my other video, the writing sample. This is at an angle, so it's not very obvious. So let me do it this way. So it is slightly longer. Uh, the Pro Gear Slim, the dandelion, is slightly shorter. Uh, the standard is slightly longer there, and then it's also slimmer. So the standard pro gear, professional gear, is on the right. The circle, the girth, is thicker. And I'll show you with other pins. This is the Sailor 1911 Large. This is another sailor which originally I was going to get the standard size which is slightly shorter and slightly slimmer um, but it sounds from what people are saying that that's apparently too small for some people so I wasn't and so that is the Pelican uh, M200 to this one because it's silver trim it's 205 they're 05 um, being um, an indicator that the trimmings are silver, not actually sterling silver, but silver color. So that's the closest in size. The Pro Gear Slim Sailor is quite close, comparable to Pelican M200s. This is Pelican M600. So let me lift this up so that you could get a sense of the scale because I found that when it's filmed on an angle you really can't see the length because of the um, line, perspective line. So so let me remember, these are the same, same uh, exact pen 
a large uh, Sailor 1911. This is Pro Gear Sailor, Pro Gear Slim Sailor. This is M200 Pelican 205 in particular. This is M600. So that's how large the uh, dandelion is. Let me open the caps for you. So I'll remove this just because. nervous about the ink drying. Let me just push them so that they're all on the same side here. Alright, so that's how that looks. So the nib is quite small as well. Um, you can see the nib is quite smaller. Oh, well, we're not talking the thickness of the nib, whether it's broad or thin, but the actual size of the nib. And then we'll post them. I don't like to post my pens because it's not actually very good for it. But, um, some of them are created to post, but it doesn't really matter. I prefer not to. It stress the the mouth of the cap in the long run, and it scratches the body of the pen. So. There you go. And that's how the dandelion sit in comparison to the other pens. And I'll do the same when I talk about these guys in my next video. Hashtag Fountain Pen Fridays. Uh, at this rate, I may have to do a fountain pen April or May or something. Um, if you're here for the books, please bear with me. I still have a few um, books to show you from Beehive Books, from Folio Society. Um, some antiquarian books, um, Everyman's Library, and um, yeah. There it is. I'll talk to you later. Bye.